Saturdays at Saratoga, MSG Plus, the place to be to tune in, no doubt about that. Live at 5 p.m., that's the start time. And look at this lineup of races. It all begins the first Saturday up there, August 1st, with the half-million-dollar Diana will forever together be back to defend her title. And the half-a-million-dollar Jim Dandy Stakes, of course, the other prelude, Saratoga's prelude to the Midsummer Derby, the Travers. And that lineup goes all the way through Labor Day weekend, September 5th, with the Woodward Stakes won a year ago by Curlin and the $300,000 Forgo. We've got one more race to go on Races of the Week, and that race took place late Sunday afternoon at Belmont Park, the Tom Full Handicap. It's a grade two with a field of four, an early scratch of the one fabulous strike, seven furlongs a distance. They're in the gate. And they're off. Driven by success, gets away first. Driven by success, out for that early lead. Here's Riley Tucker coming up on his inside. Munnings right up there, too. Five lengths back to the last wave. So down the back stretch, and Riley Tucker has taken the lead from Driven by Success. Riley Tucker in front, Driven by Success at his neck. 22 flat was that opening quarter, and Munnings sits out and watches the other two go at each other as they round the far turn. The last wave behind them all. Four furlongs to go. Riley Tucker and driven by success. Head to head for the lead. Looming just in behind them is Munnings. Munnings just stalking now with three furlongs to go. The half was 44 and two fifth seconds. Five lengths adrift is the last wave. Now they're coming to the top of the stretch. Will Munnings try to come through on the rail? Yes, he will. Here comes Munnings through on the inside. Oh, and with a deft move, Munnings has taken the lead and pulling away from Riley Tucker and driven by success is toiling back in third as Munnings is pouring it on in a dazzling display of sprinting ability. Here is Munnings and he's going to roll home to a clear-cut victory over Riley Tucker and driven by success. Munnings stops the clock and won 21 flat. Right. Trainer Todd Pletcher won this race a few years back with the three-year-old Trippy. He was back in the winner's circle. Todd was with his three-year-old Munnings off that brilliant win and a perfect trip win at that in the uh, Woody Stevens on the Belmont Stakes undercard. Munnings, a three-year-old son of Spitestown, purchases a two-year-old last winner for $1.7 million. Much the best in the Tom Fool, Riley Tucker, who wound up setting the pace down inside after the early scratch of the one fabulous strike, stayed on fairly stubbornly in the New York bread, driven by success, who was so good in defeat in both the Cardwell uh, card and Shadwell Metropolitan Handicap just didn't have it today. He was third best under the finish line. Trainer Todd Beatty said Sunday morning, fabulous strike, okay. You'll see him upstate in the Vanderbilt. We're out of time here on Thoroughbred Weekly. Thanks for tuning in.